some typical mistakes that block your organic growth. And first thing what we will discuss is CTR. CTR is a click-through rate, and this is the percentage of users who clicked on your video compared to the number of times it was shown. So on the next slide, you will see that CTR is calculated as the number of clicks divided into the number of impressions, and all this multi multiplied to 100%. Uh, YouTube uses CTR as one of the factors to determine where your video will be shown in search results and recommendations. And CTR can help you earn more money because if people click on your video, they are likely to watch um, the ads. And this, of course, can increase your revenue. CTR dynamics are influenced by several things. So first of all, your video topic. Some topics are more popular than the others. So your, video, um, so your videos on these topics may have um, higher CTR, and this is good for you. Um, quality of your title and thumbnail. We will discuss this later as well. But these are the first things people see when they come across your videos. So they should be compelling. And of course, we will discuss how to make them compelling. And the length of your video, because generally shorter videos tend to have higher CTRs than longer videos. However, it doesn't mean that you should only make short videos. In our work with partnering channels, we always strive to find the ideal duration. After all, one of the most crucial metrics on YouTube is watch time. The longer viewers watch you, the more ads can be served on your content and YouTube will earn more. And of course, you will earn more. So placement of YouTube video is also very important because YouTube shows in search results typically, typically have higher CTR than those shown in recommendations. Because when people are searching for something like the topic or the true crime case, or the name of somebody, they have the intention to find this information and to consume this information. YouTube recommendations is when YouTube tries to sell your content, or when YouTube sees the potential in your content and tries to sell it to the audience that didn't have an intention to watch it. So that is why search results always bring to higher CTR. But remember that CTR is a personal information. So YouTube doesn't share it with other channels. However, when we uh, are working with channels in this niche, so probably we have a formula of an CTR, which is considered to be normal. So we think that if the CTR, if your CTR is around seven to 9%, for 500,000 um, impressions, this is okay. Of course, it depends on the geography because these numbers are okay for the US market. If you were in Ukraine, for example, in Ukraine, uh, you can get 500,000 views uh, while having CTR just five, 6% in true crime niche. So the next thing, what I, uh, what we are going to discuss is the recommendation of A-B testing to control CTR improvement. So it's important to know what exactly works for you about your thumbnails, about titles, visuals, and so on and so forth. So we recommend to start choosing two different texts um, on the thumbnails. Like keep the visuals the same as you see it on the upper pictures, like texts are different and the pictures are the same. Upload them and track the CTR, keep the one that performs best. Then use the text, but create two different thumbnails variations. So it's important to conduct testing gradually and don't change all key elements on the video at once. Like the title, thumbnail, just choose either the title or the thumbnails. It is like recommended to uh, test one factor at a time, and this will clearly allow you to, um, to understand what is changing factor for you, like the title or the thumbnail. Also, on the next slide, you will see that um, like, there is a myth that low CTR can lead uh, to decrease, uh, decreased views. Theoretically, yes, it can, low CTR can decrease your views. Because if people aren't clicking on your video, YouTube may see it as an uninteresting and decrease its visibility. 
there are other factors on YouTube um, that YouTube considers in video rankings, such as content quality, uh, for example, like videos with um, good viewer retention, which is the engagement and watch time, are likely to get more views, even with, if their CTR is low. Low and audience engagement uh, is also like is crucial for YouTube to estimate your efficiency, the efficiency of your content. And videos with higher levels of engagements, like likes, comments, shares, different interactions with you and with your content, are also likely to receive more views. What works for thumbnails in true crime? Viewers in true crime prefer thumbnails featuring um, authentic footage from the crime scene, like body cam, surveillance cameras, and so on. So, which immediately immerses them into this sinister story. The true crime niche isn't about classic beauty of visuals. It's about showcasing snippets of the crime here and now, which may not always be, let's say, aesthetically pleasing in the traditional sense. So, in this case, the worse, the better. Now, let's discuss about the titles in true crime niche. So, here you see what we consider to be good titles and bad titles. So good titles, for example, the first one, 15 most horrifying pieces of evidence in YouTube mom's case. So a top list showcasing the most terrifying and shocking details, all the numbers like most, top, 15, top 15, and so on and so forth, they will always work good for your titles. The next one, when friends realize a killer is in the group chat. So this is a spoiler, but it spoils part of the story, but still leaves viewers eager to find how and who was the killer and so on and so forth. So this is a spoiler, but it doesn't spoil anything. The next one, she left her toddler alone for 10 days. Um, well, this combines specific numbers, like 10, numbers always work good, and numbers with the shocking act of leaving a child. So no, everybody knows that it's inappropriate to leave children alone, and our imagination starts to uh, create the image of the awful pictures. So it's provoking interest. And of course, people will click on that. If we speak about bad titles, so you will notice the difference now. Secrets and Lies, 48 hours full episode. So this is too vague. It doesn't specify any secrets. It doesn't specify wh which secrets or lies are involved. So, you know, nothing interesting. Remember that you have only one finger scroll on the mobile phone for people to choose you or not you to watch. The disturbing case of Logan Clegg. So this title might work only if the case is currently trending. Otherwise, it's too generic and sounds, you know, like sounds very usual. So um, we don't recommend such titles for unknown cases. Shanda doesn't think she did anything wrong, the case of Shanda. So first of all, I don't like that the Shanda is used twice here. And secondly, this title must, might also work only if the story is currently popular again. While it hints at someone's misunderstanding, it still sounds like too generic. And the last one, which can, at the first glance, it can look good, but it's not. Rude, nude, rude, and screwed, the dark history of nail salons. So, the catchy words don't reveal the actual case of story and like it's making it unclear or less engaging now about the clickbait because it is connected to the title's topic it's really really important to note that using clickbait um, like it doesn't help it doesn't work and it can only bring something bad to your content and how you to the fact how YouTube treats you. This title, the clickbait, may seem like an easy way to, to artificially boost your video CTR. Um, first of all, viewers who click on your video might be disappointed if they don't find what they expected and they may leave the video. So this will lead to lower watch time and, as I told already, what time is the most important metric. Also, YouTube may penalize your channel for using clickbait, which could result in a yellow coin or age restrictions like 18+, plus, or even a strike.
So instead of using clickbait, focus on creating clear, informative, and honest titles and thumbnails that accurate, accurately reflect your video's content. This will help you attract the right audience and enhance the overall user experience on the platform. So people, when you promise something to them um, on your titles, and this is a clickbait, and they click on, uh, on your video, and within first five seconds, they don't see what you promised, they will leave, and they will leave disappointed. 